So for the sake of recording, you are all right if yeah. I record you, right? So what's your answer to this question? I would give up. And why is that? So because I've been in that place. I've been the victim. Okay. And would your answer have been different if you were not in that place ever? No. So it has something to do on a fundamental level, right? Yeah. What is that? No one deserves to be raped. Yeah. The starters. Yeah. No one's supposed to be put in that position. Okay. And it's simple as that. Yeah. I mean, I think we both agree that rape is an immoral act. Yeah. Right. But what makes it immoral? No consent. Okay. The person just coming over you and like doing whatever the fuck he wants to do. Yeah. Even though you know you know that you're not all right with it. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. So I agree that there is no consent involved. Yeah. But do you think that's the only thing? There are a it's few more. It's more than that. that. It's more like not liking the touch of another person. Yeah. Not. being fine with the other person like just doing whatever they want and you're just helpless you don't know what to do so would you say there is an element of physical abuse also involved of course yeah. and also mental trauma <laughs> and would you ever wish that upon anyone no so let me present you with a hypothetical situation no no hello par me let me present you with a hypothetical situation okay <laughs> where a person is about to go rape someone and in this hypothetical you had a chance to talk to them i assure you in this hypothetical they will listen to you they will listen to your logic and reasoning yeah if your logic is good if it is on point they would never do it so what would you tell them that i'm not fine with them touching me and uh, you are not doing it someone else is someone else is the victim is going to be the victim wait i'm trying to convince the rapist or the victim the potential rapist the potential rapist yeah. it's as simple as the person you want to rape yeah. does not consent to you even touching them okay and they do not want you yeah. they do not want to be felt they do not want to be raped yeah. and if you are that desperate yeah. choose different means okay. and not abuse a unknown person or even a known person for fuck's sake yeah. i mean when you say about choosing something else even if an alternative method i mean many uh, people suggest me that there there are sex workers available why don't the rapist go for that yeah. i would say But honestly uh, say jerk off more than sex rapists yeah i mean that's that's better honestly and this would be mostly uh, like i don't mean to be insensitive okay i'm just trying to see how far this logic goes what if they tell you person what's your name pasna sorry pasna so pasna what if they tell you that jerking off does not give the same amount of pleasure that are there now here's the whole point the reason they are going to rape someone is not because they want someone to be oppressed not to hurt someone but not just to satisfy to... themselves yes only for their pleasure and jerking off did not give them the same pleasure what would you say in that situation morally and even ethically or anything yeah. that doesn't mean you go do something to someone else okay no matter what the fuck it is all right even if it is even if you you are not satisfied it's yeah. it's a you problem okay. there are so many men who do not you know who do not get action to be very honest to be very open do not get action but that doesn't mean that they just go and rape women mm-hmm. but if you are going to do that i think you need a therapist okay and you need to talk about your issues so it's not the issue as i said it was about pleasure so do you think like obviously i ask people what would you say how can they satisfy their pleasure like because this is something they that they are valuing right there are for example then there is just narcissism yeah. just for example how you would value ethics and morality if someone is valuing their pleasure and they say upasna i am completely fine stopping but what about my pleasure do you think it is your duty to find that alternative source of pleasure no. for them it's upon them to figure yes. that out right no matter what happens you would never justify the act yeah so let's say they agree with you and they say in that case i won't rape anyone but they have a few questions okay now you have already convinced them not to rape anyone. but now they ask you we have been raping for thousands of years why stop now to just be a better person okay for starters cuz I think it just starts with that. Be a better person okay. and not 
you know traumatize someone mm-hmm. not rape someone yeah so it's just that and uh, while they accept their answer they also ask you look at the number of rape cases that happen in the world far too many me stopping or not stopping would it even make a difference to anyone it wouldn't make a difference to anyone but it would make a difference to the victim you're planning to rape the potential victim it would make a hell lot of a difference for yeah. them right? okay so what if they listen to you and they agree that yeah the answer seems fair that we will be traumatizing them for if not for the rest of their life for many years to come so instead of raping them i won't rape them but i would just murder them instead and they have that, the right to take someone's life for starters hear me out. the reason they would murder is it will put the person out of the misery there is no trauma after you are dead right so would what you what about the person's will to live okay that's that i agree so let's say now they agree with this and they say in that case i won't rape a human and i won't even murder a human i would rape an animal instead would you why rape a- anything animals are not things right any anything on earth mm-hmm. why rape it be it even an object of fuck's sake i mean why rape we won't call it a rape if it's an object but the question becomes i mean obviously right the sex dolls for example do you think it's okay man i get your point huh so what i'm asking is uh, would you say that when it comes to them raping an animal you are against that as well yeah would you say it is also immoral yeah is it unethical for the same reasons why raping a human is yes that is lack of consent yes physical abuse and mental trauma yes does that also apply to animals yes so would you say raping an animal is cruel What does cruelty mean to you? Anything done bad to anyone, okay. be it an animal, be it a human, or an, even an insect. Mm-hmm. Like I know people kill insects, that's a different thing. But like raping an animal, they're not even the same species as you do it. I, so I mean, so I mean, like, I mean, I mean, like why rape anything? Uh-huh. That's all. Yeah. Uh, because when you say species, like obviously human to human rape is not justified. So that But even if you go rape a cow. Yeah. Just because you want to, you know, I've, there have there have been instances of raping cows, raping goats. Mhm. I they have got, they have gone through pain. Yeah. Just for your pleasure. Yeah. And why would you want to put someone through that for your pleasure? Mm-hmm. Like how psychotic are you to do that? So even if this person was not having pleasure raping them would still be wrong. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what the victimizer is feeling. we only look at the victim's perspective right of course yeah. so uh, you mentioned cruelty is harming someone yeah. right uh, i mostly agree with you but i disagree on two points one is you see this piercing right when i got it done it hurt me for half a second would you say because it hurt me that's why it was cruel did you want that piercing yeah simple as that so would you say that harming someone without their consent it's not even about harming If it's consensual, it's sex. If it's not consensual, it's no, rape. No, I'm no longer talking just about rape. I'm just talking about cruelty in general. Hmm. Yeah. So over here, consent was there, and so even if it hurt me, which I cruel. which I knew would hurt me, that's why you're saying it's not cruel. Yeah. Okay. Other thing would be, you know how vehicles are coming on Church Street. It is possible it might run over someone. So before that accident happens, if I push that person away, which means I touch them without their consent and push them, which might hurt them. Would you say that that action was cruel? No, we tried saving the person's life. Would you say that when consent cannot be given, we also look at the intentions of the action? As in, me pushing them was the of the intention to save, save them. Save the person, yeah. yeah. So, what the intention would have done to that person? We value that when the consent cannot be given. It's not about consent. Anything that comes out of a good place. Yeah. For like saving a person's life by pushing them. Yeah. It's an act of kindness, and you save the person's life. So it's nowhere, it nowhere comes under cruelty. Okay. So now, now I think we are on the same page. And now, when I look at, when we look at the action of raping an animal, would you say it is definitely cruel? Yes. Would you say it is an example of animal cruelty? Yes. Can you give me a few examples of animal cruelty that you are against? Testing make of products. Okay. The dairy industry. Okay. And yeah, that's all I can think of right now. How is dairy industry? Because they literally, 
I don't know. I've seen documentaries, and I just feel like it's cruel. I don't know how to put it into words, okay. but like it, I just find it cruel. Mm-hmm. So, let me give you a few examples of animal cruelty. You let me know if you agree or disagree. With it. Okay. What do you think about enslaving animals? Me, I'm a non-vegetarian, so mm-hmm. I cannot really speak about it. Because why not? When I mean, because it would be considered as hypocrisy. I'm completely fine with that. I'm not here to judge you. Okay. So it's okay. Like you know, we realize something is off when we realize we are hypocrites. But let's address it, right? So what do you think about enslaving animals? Is it cruel for them? Yeah, it's cruel. I mean, uh, for example, my friend leaving the country would also be sad. But that won't be cruel. What do you call enslaving animal as cruel? They're yeah, born. So, so when I say about enslaving animals, I mean it in three different fashion. First, would be for our entertainment choices. I'm talking about zoos, circuses, aquariums, horse riding, dog fighting. I have one question for you. Yeah. Did you put up this bait to talk about animals? I'm talking about rape. Yes, I will definitely come to it. But I'm just trying to figure out about animal cruelty. Because I'm, I'm just seeing you talk about animal cruelty more than the thing you put up here. I'll come to that. Like, can you just give me a couple of minutes? Huh? Yeah. Can you like give me a two minutes? Because how often do you come across this question? Yeah. No, that's what I'm asking her. Can you give me two minutes to pause? It would be uh, nice if you wrap it up. Okay. Okay. So as a, if you want to uh, me to tell you how it is related to rape, did you figure out the connection? Okay, I'll give you one hint. It has to do something with the ingredient of the pizza. No. Ingredient of the pizza. Ingredient of the pizza. Yeah. Think of the ingredients which are there on pizza for sure. Tomato sauce, yeah. maida, yeah. vegetables, yeah. chicken. If yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. How about cheese? Dairy products. Yeah. And where do we get it from? The dairy industry. From the cows, from the buffaloes, and when do they produce milk? When they give birth. And in order to give birth, they need they to be reproduced. Right? Now, do you see the connection? Yeah. Do you see that as a problem? Of course. Do you see using animals, no matter in which fashion, is going against your values of consent? Yeah. Do you think you are part of that problem? Of course, because I do consume dairy. Yeah. Do you think it's a justifiable thing? No. So, why I want think? to choose another alternative, but yeah. I just find the other alternative is a bit expensive to mine. Yeah. So, I end up with dairy products. You know, the hypothetical that I was giving you, you didn't push for, you know, going for sex workers. Otherwise, I would have said, imagine if a rapist says, I can definitely stop raping. I can go for a sex worker, but they just ask for way too much of money. Yeah? Would you have accepted that position? As a sex worker, also. No, no, no. If someone says I can definitely give up on raping, it's just that I have my, pl- uh, I want to please myself, and I can go to a sex worker, but they ask for too much amount of money. It's not affordable for me. I get your point. Huh? Yeah. Uh, do you think that position is justified? No. Do you think for your habits and for your pleasure, it is justified to enslave not an animal? Done. No. It's right. not. So why do you think that you are not consistent with your values, Vasu? Because I I think I haven't given much heat about it mm-hmm. or much thought about it yeah. as much as I've given to this. Yeah. So like yeah. So obviously I didn't describe you how the cows are raped, but I'm sure that is the information you can look at uh, look at it uh, at your own self. Yeah. I can suggest you a documentary if you would like to watch. It's called Dominion. Okay. Dominion 2018 documentary. After uh, this conversation, I can just type it out for you if you would like. But don't you think that if you were in that position, you would want to stop that from happening immediately? I would search for better alternatives than raping an animal. What I asked is, if you were in the position of that animal, would you want that exploitation to end immediately? Of course. Would you care if the other person can find alternatives or not? Of course. Would you care? As in? If you were in that animal's position, would you care if your oppressor was able to, was successful to find alternatives or not? That's great. No, would you care if they couldn't find an alternative? Is that your problem? What do you mean exactly? For example, the let's take the dairy industry. Okay, 
if you were if you were in the position of that animal that cow who is actually exploited so that she can get pregnant and humans can have the milk if you were in that position and the person who was doing this to you for their milk demands if they weren't able to find the alternative which is affordable for them they think you care for that reason you do not want to be exploited right so why is it fair for you as a consumer to support this industry it's I, i'll be very sure. honest it's not like i support the industry mm-hmm. it's not like you know i don't care or anything yeah. i do care a part of sure. me does care sure. but i just do not know the right way to act upon because yeah. i do not know much about it and the better ways i can act upon it but would you agree that uh, that stopping that is the first thing to do of course yeah. do you think you need to make that step yeah of course right. so upasna the reason i am asking these questions Obviously, we all are against animal cruelty. We say that we don't support it, but when we pay for these things, for a hen to be killed, for a cow to be raped, a goat to be slaughtered, with our money, we are supporting that, right? So now, do you realize that it is actually hypocritical to say you value consent while you violate it? It definitely consent, is, right? but you think that as bait? Do you think it would be bait? Do you, do you want me to explain how cows get pregnant? I understand that, yeah. but you think that as bait is triggering because. Sure. If I walked by and I read that. I sure. came back to you because I thought you had something to talk about that. That's uh, why I came back. Upasna, see, I don't mean to be insensitive, but I, I understand. But I didn't say it was for humans. 